Here's a short video clip. Um, worm farm one, worm farm two, tumbler. You may have seen the tumbler being used in the last um, video. And here is uh, my next harvest will be of vermicompost. It'll be these ones going through. And yes, just some more. This is my little uh, bin that I like to um, use to grow my worms up in. So because it's warmer than all the others, this time of the year it's perfectly positioned to to take on and do well where the other bins are icy cold. This one is in the sun most of the day, when the sun shines, of course that is. Sometimes in the middle of winter we don't see the sun for a, a week or two at a time, but we're going on. What I wanted to show you today is that I planted this bag of oranges um, and nachis in the ground about a week ago and i want to just give you show you that yes they the oranges and notches were soft at the time of being put in but they weren't completely soft and fraught but as i put it out i just want to show you that they are seriously attracted to this now i can smell it from where i am i can smell the oranges and the notches that citrusy smell and people say it's acidic, but if it was that bad for them, they wouldn't go anywhere near it. They are crawling in and out of this bag here. They are deciding that they want to be inside here. They could choose to go around and stay away. They wouldn't have to come anywhere near it. This is directly underneath, and you can always tell directly underneath a bag if they do or don't like. And they obviously like. They wouldn't be anywhere near it otherwise. So whatever microorganisms are coming out of that bag, they're filtering down, and these guys just below the bag are sucking up all those microorganisms and loving it. Now, I also have in here a pineapple, um, but that I only put in a couple of days ago. What else have I got? I've got another bag buried in here. I'm always experimenting, and sometimes, like when I plant, I forget what I'm doing. There's uh, some wood shavings, for example, that have gone into the ground a week ago in there. I mean, there's one worm. One. One little worm. That's it. So these wood shavings are nowhere near being ready. This is natural wood shavings. No chemicals added. Um, potatoes are just making eyes. Wherever I see potatoes, they just make eyes. I can't for the life of me find this bag of pineapple. It's in here somewhere. <sighs> Let's see, let's see if I can find it. Huh? I don't know where I put it. I just love these butternuts. Butternut pups go in the ground. They will germinate like mad. If anybody ever wants to germinate butternuts, this is how you do it. You throw them into your worm farm. Now, I can just break these up into pieces because I've got so many button nuts all over the place. And this will become worm food. Still looking for my other sack. <laughs> Somewhere in here is another sack. You have an onion nose, but I squeeze it. Let's get some worms out. When you squeeze it, it's getting a little bit of moisture, but I can see drips of water between my fingers. Then I know my moisture content is 100%. Right, so if I find my bag, I will let you know and I will show it to you from this side. Oops, across to that side, I'm just moving everything around. I wanted to show you why I don't usually put potato peels, especially potato chunks, into the farm. I mean, here's two pieces of potato. And look at this gorgeous root system. So, if you're going to put potatoes in, I would strongly suggest that you put them through a purifier first, unless you plan on growing potatoes um, 
you can see here that I eat up the cardboard and then leave behind that. So there's the cardboard. Here's what's left of the cardboard and the worms and a little bit of cardboard left. The worms are all in here. Okay, so I was looking for the pineapple bag that I buried three days ago and I did find it um, completely devoid of any worms at this stage um, but I'm going to put it back in again start to make a difference to um, its consistency and whether the microorganisms can get into the uh, pineapple and also whether the worms will go for it, because that's what the experiment's all about. The worms will eventually come and take on this pineapple and eat it. Because there was some controversy on the worldwide um, vermicomposting websites that I follow as to whether pineapple's good or bad. Some people say it's fantastic, throw it in. Others say be very cautious, it can kill your worms. I suppose it depends on a lot of factors. Um, First one being the size of your bin. If you put in a huge bag of pineapple and they've got nowhere else to go to get away from it, then there's going to be trouble. Whereas in a bin this size, there should be no problem. That if they don't like it, they're just going to they're just going to go around it until they're happy with it. I've planted the other orange bag, one with the notches and the orange peels in it. I put that back in again. I need the top of this one open now so I can see what's going on. Okay, and so we carry on. My day is still going on.